Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Galetto Rossonero here with you. Guys, Serie A is officially back. I know what you're going to say, Rock, what the hell are you talking about? Serie A starts at the end of August, like you don't make sense. No, 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 that's why you're all wrong. The teams got back together, preseason is starting, they're getting together, they're practicing, the preseason games will soon start as well. They were the official presentation of the coaches yesterday and today. Lots of stuff came out. Before we start, like and subscribe to the channel. Guys, shots fired yesterday and today. It just started. It's just started. Did you think that the Serie A season was going to be boring this year? Sari is back as a coach. Allegri is back as a coach. Spalletti is back as a coach. Simone Inzaghi went to Inter. Pioli stays with Milan. The special one is the new Roma coach. Lots of stuff happening, guys. Lots of stuff. Gattuso signs with Fiorentina, leaves Fiorentina. Nobody understands nothing. Italiano is the new coach at Fiorentina. Daversa goes to Samp. Dionisi goes to Sassuolo. It's a disaster. Everybody changed everything. Gasperini, I throw him. Gasperini in there too. Ah, whatever. So, shots fired, what I was saying. Mourinho, Spalletti had a lot of things to say. But let's start with the two quiet ones. Inzaghi was presented yesterday. Um, said that he already knew that Akimi was going to be sold. The management had told them. But that the management also promised him that the team wouldn't be dismantled. So um, the Inter team would still be competitive. Besides Akimi, they shouldn't be losing any big players. That is very important. He says that he's trying to defend last year's Scudetto. And that the objective this year was to win the Scudetto. But not only that, but to actually go through the group stage of the Champions League. He said that Inter hasn't passed the group stage in a long time. And that this year was going to be the year. So very important, very important words. Then came Pioli today. Pioli said that he was happy to be back. Said that he saw Zlatan in great shape. He's, he's recovering well. He said that Kessi, Kessi was a monster that he had developed so much, but that there was so much more room to grow for Kessi. He also talked about the captaincy. A lot of rumors were saying that Kessi was going to be the new captain, or that it was going to go to Ibra. He said, no, no. Romagnoli was our captain last year. He's still our captain this year. He is the one who's going to have the captain's armband. First game of the season, if he plays, obviously, because he's on the bench. And that's if they don't sell him before. But he also said, thank you to Donnarumma and to Chalnoglu for what they did last year. But now that it was time to move on, that they weren't there anymore, that's it. He said that uh, Mania was super hyped to be there, that Tonali was back, he was very happy. Big news out of Milan today, apparently Giroud is almost done. They just need the signature, they've agreed with Chelsea. Awesome news for him as well. But then today, the presentation of the other two coaches. Spalletti, first at Napoli, said that he was happy to be at Napoli, that he loved Napoli, that he wanted Insigne to be there for his entire journey as a Napoli coach, putting a bit of pressure on the uh, player, but also on the uh, club to do the renewal. We know that there's a bit of a problem. De Laurentiis doesn't want to give him the money he wants. He's fed up, so we'll see. Uh, he said that he talked about the mercato that they were going to do, that they were going to do specified, um, specified acquisti, not, not too flashy, but very good for the team, uh, that they were going to work slowly, but surely under the radar. So we'll see where they come. And then, and then he threw shots at Totti. Of course, every know, everybody knows about their beef. Totti basically retired because he wasn't playing anymore. Spalletti didn't make him play. They never had a good relationship. So the Totti movie came out. In the Totti movie, there's a lot of reference to Spalletti. So Spalletti said, I'm so happy that I gave them so much material that they could produce a movie out of it. He goes, if they're ever they're missing some more juicy parts, they should come and see me. I could give them a lot of details, meaning that Totti obviously played the uh, bad guy Spalletti angle, but we don't have Spalletti's version. He also said, 
and this is the nice shot. He said that he's disappointed that the movie didn't have any success. Shots fired, boys. Shots fired, boys and girls, crazy. And then our friend, the special one. The special one at Rome, he said that he wasn't there for vacation, that he came to win with something at Rome. He said that he didn't want a uh, he didn't want La Roma to be Mourinho's Rome, but he wanted La Roma to be to the Romanistis. So he wanted Rome to be for the Roma fans. He Romanist. La Roma dei Romanist and not La Roma di Mourinho. So he wanted the Roma to be Rome's Rome. He also said, he threw shots. And this is the funny, nice banter that we like. So he threw shots at Inter. He said, some teams win, and then they don't pay their players. Hmm? Hmm? Some teams win, but then they, can, they don't have the money to pay their players. And then he also threw shots at Conte, because everybody says, what did you think about Conte at Inter, blah, 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 blah. He came up and said that no other coach at Inter mattered beside himself. And Herrera. He's the only one that won the, he won the treble with Inter. He won the championship, he won the, um, the Champions League, he won it all. So to him, nobody's as important of him. Many people say that he's not as good of a coach as he was, that he, doesn't have, he hasn't had success in the last couple of outings, especially at Tottenham. One thing's for sure, he still has that presence in front of the media. Mourinho is still Mourinho. The shots fired at Inter today, he basically said, I am the coach of Rome. I will protect Rome and the players. He doesn't care about anybody else. Forget the friendship with Inter. This season, it doesn't exist. He's always been nice to Inter. Always said some nice things about Inter, even when he was coaching for other teams. This year, back in Serie A, nothing for Inter. Nothing. No love. Shots fired today. Guys, Serie A is almost back going to start soon, preseason is starting, it's all exciting, we still have a lot of calcio mercato, obviously, come back tomorrow, enjoy your soccer day, but more importantly, more importantly, stay tuned for the uh, reaction video from Aldo, so we'll see what Aldo has to say about Italy, what he has to say about England, it's coming up guys, so have a great soccer day, enjoy.